So this is how the videos actually start, where we sit here and we try to figure out like what to say. A yawn. Right. We just ate a whole pizza. Um, but then I come out with my my fake radio voice that you love. Love it. And then uh, then we just start the episode. So we could skip all that, or we could go in our pursuit. Of what are you? What are you? What's going on? Tell me. What is he doing? Don't know. So I went ahead and did a channel exclusive. The last nine episodes of I'm with Busey in three parts. So we're doing episodes, uh, what is it, five, six, and seven uh, in this one. So it's going to be a fast compilation, faster than a regular episode, but it's condensed crazy. And I think that's what we're into seeing. And I think what you guys want to watch. So episode five, whatever the hell this is. Is he fighting a mop? Is he turning butter? Masturbating? No, that's not. You got some work to do. I can see right now yeah. we're going nowhere with you. At any time! All right. Anywhere! Any place. I'm just struggling um, to understand the words coming out of your mouth. I'm really trying. I'm... Okay. Well, when you tap into this special gift you have, which is. And uh, I challenge you to be able to tell the difference between me editing the video and the actual editing of the video. It, will, it won't make sense either way. <laughs> I defy you to figure this out. They are playing with toys. We're adults. We're adults. But we have an inner child. You do and I do too. I, you know what? I used to have an imaginary friend when I was a little kid. Me too. He was kind of talking smack about Knight Rider. We got into a fight and I kind of kicked him out of the car door and we never, I've never seen him since. So I think that's kind of like I lost my imaginary friend, you know? No? That's called getting lost in your imaginary vagueness. And then we move on. Is this? <laughs> no, really? No, that's pretty much what the <laughs> segment was. <laughs> Don't need to see anything. All right. Yeah. Backhanded, nice. This is how Helen Keller probably painted. You know, this, oh. no. Is she playing? Yeah. Adam tries. Yeah. Uh, too hard. A better reference would have been Jackson Pollock. What's wonderful about the, the famous artist who did art. So it looks like this episode is about art and expression. I edited this and still don't remember. Yet. Right. And poetry's that way. I'd like to share some of mine with you. Nope, we just move on. He actually didn't share any information. He just, really? Yeah. The cat is gone. You're right, there's no way to figure out what, because I would have said, oh, Chris is bored, let's just move on. No, it, it he didn't pretty much do any of this. Adam went up and tried to do something and it was terrible. Oh, okay. This dipped into the fondue of a possum. So now he's showing, I don't know who this gentleman is, but he's uh -huh. showing him actual roadkill that he's trying to pitch as some kind of food or art. Well, as art, it's at least be provocative. Get the people going. Martha Stewart. These are beautiful little animals. Mm -hmm. They can be split down the middle, uh -huh. take out the intestines. Yeah. It's an invisible requirement. It's not something that's an acquired taste. It's just something when you take a bite. And actually after this uh, compila this uh, episode, this three part episode, the next ones I actually put a subtitle of what the episode is about from what I understand of how I edited it. Uh -huh. To at least give us a clue, because I have no idea what this episode is about. Oh, he's got you. Well, this is about artistic expression. <laughs> I think maybe I'm wrong. Something more. Did its hand get caught? Yeah, it got caught on. I've never seen that. Like, I don't need to see it, but. I'd like for you to sit down right now. Because he can. So that's a ferret, I guess, on the side. Maybe it's a weasel. Uh, in, in other states, they have ferrets as pets. They're not allowed here in California. So I never saw a ferret you know what? I'm okay until, with that. I, until I moved to New York. It's because of Busey. Thanks. Yeah. He's faking a phone call right now. It's short. Let me go back. <laughs> He's like doing business and Busey's like, I'm not having this. Uh, your pitch is I understand it. The raccoon is the only animal that has a bone in his penis. So you can actually use that as he a toothpick. Hey. What? He's shut not. up. Shut up. You know what John just told me? He told you something? Yeah. What? Why in the hell aren't you talking to me? Look at that face. I'll let you know something, Duke. You got two Indians up on a rock behind you. If you don't look that way, you're going to get killed by an arrow. <laughs> That's my imagination. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, look, Bob Hope, Bing Crosby. I swear I cut this episode to be to make as much sense as possible, uh -huh. but not have any of the downtime of like the bickering, or not, not even the fun bickering, just like the driving and kind of. Right. The, so this is what was left. It's Buddy Holly. It looks like uh, Bono. Oh, 
Well, busy was Buddy Holly in a movie, you might think. Moving on to episode six. Right. Contest. That's why I'm dressed this way. Yeah, right, oh, right. right. Okay, That's yeah. why I'm dressed this way, because but, I want you to observe this and know about it. If we get splattered with blood, that's an honor. One day I went to a ultimate fighting contest. I got splattered with so much blood in my face by Ken Shamrock in the uh -huh. tank. Yeah. I, I, I looked like I had a, 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 a smallpox. And what he's talking about is real. I was a UFC uh, fan since UFC 1, and uh, they really did have fights. He was at that fringe, bare knuckle, uh, illegal event where very few people were in like Alabama where they could not even be sanctioned. So that's the kind of place Gary Busey was hanging out for fun. Right. Uh, watching bare, you know, just crazy, no rules MMA back in the day. Yeah, well, MMA isn't no rules. There are rules. There are tons of rules. Right, and and uh, that makes it like less deadly. And what we're basically saying is Gary Busey went to the one where there was no rules. Like no fish hooking. And he's like, hey, guess what? You could just get blood splattered all over you. Let's go check that out. Did they test anyone's blood? <laughs> right. No. Right. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Hey! Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you know that thing like in DC Cab. Remember DC Cab? Yeah, I remember that. that. Yeah. I remember that. I don't yeah. work on it. Hi, good. Great. Good. good. Now, what do you think of her? What do I think of her? She's a good waitress, what I guess. She asked me about the... Hey. Yeah. What do you think of her in terms of a date? Uh, uh, in terms of a date? Okay. I can see I'm We're losing ground here. Okay, I've invited a very, very professional woman over here. Uh, what does that mean? Dating episode, maybe. She's not a working girl, that means. Oh, okay. that sounds like that would have been cool. But... She's very smart in relationships. Oh, okay. And seeing romance from a woman's point of view. The feelings a woman has to make her. See, right now I'm just waiting for Busey to jump on the rail and like dangle the other guy off yeah. the side and be like, learn romance. Heard her? Oh, I know. Okay, so like, hey, uh, so, so you shouldn't like, sh you know, like, but should you say at the beginning of a day, like, I'm not going to hurt you, lady? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> do you, are you having a feeling of uh, connecting I, with her again? Yeah, I'd like to do that. That'd be awesome. I don't know where she lives or anything, but that'd be cool. Like, if well, I we can find her. that out. I work with the FBI. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay he's on a date, apparently. Um, yeah. Not sticky at all. Adam. Of course. Yeah. Name is. What's, what's your name? Jamie. Jamie. You asked me that already. I'm sorry. It's a, Adam, right? Yeah, I have a bad memory. Yeah, yeah. I have a bad memory. Ask her what her heritage is. is. What is, what, could you excuse me just for a second? Sure. Yeah, okay. What's your heritage? Um. Bill's a garden of passion in your heart. You know, every letter that makes up uh, the word that creates your name is oh. like a, uh, it's like a. Um, garden of passion in like my a, heart. Like a garden of passion. Say what? Four, two, three, on your Right there? No. This is why they're, part they're, of the show didn't work. Right, and they're doing a, a kind of a bit out of a different movie or something where there's like a radio. Yeah. Oh Getting a little God. desperate. That was cool. Thank you. Right. And you have Gary Busey. Sometimes I feel like I have Give him a sword, he'll go swing it around. Sometimes I feel like I've lost um, the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster between my legs. Uh, this is working. Mmm, this is so good. Do you like it? I like meat, yeah. I do too. Adam, lean in close to her, smell her, and tell her her scent is lovely. Be curious, be curious about it. Your scent is lovely. No, no, no. no. You've got to reach right? over. No, go to her neck. No. How close you is he? You're golfing? Yeah, these, these are all ways to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Mm -hmm. You want to go miniature golfing? I would love to. After that sounds like so much fun. Do you know mini golf was actually invented by midgets? No. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm better at centipede. This is fun. Uh, okay. One of the most fun times I've ever had. It's fun. Yep, can't do that. Yes. That was good. Thank you, Jesus. I always thank Jesus after that. Jamie. Well, what I saw down, I was watching. You know, I'm, I'm a, what I am, I'm a miniature golf pro. Where I help people putt and show them things to do in terms of getting on with their game. And what I want to do is help you with your putting, although that was fantastic what you did right there. Thank you. This is so crazy. Well, Gary Busey's giving me golf tips. Well, it's what you do when you're not, you, know, you don't work all the time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It's true. I made a hole in one earlier. Congratulations. Well, yeah. now it's your turn. Okay, yeah, I'll try. Go. Thank you, Gary Busey, miniature yeah. golf pro. 
Is he your buddy or something? Yeah, yeah, we're good friends. Do you have any friends? Yeah. Oh, nice. You're incredible. Jamie? Thank you. You got away with, with hitting those golf balls. Thanks. I like to, I don't want to interrupt you, but I have to say this. I'm going to the pro shop. Okay. We have a gift arrangement line for you. I know where this That's area is. That's a really long walk to the bus stop. Yeah, it was downhill, so, you know. So I guess this is the weird kind of shticky date episode. Right. Buddy? All right. I'm going to play a song. Yep. He's going to serenade them. I want you to feel that Adam is singing. I wonder how much guitar he learned to play that Buddy Holly thing. Now I want to go back and watch the movie and see how much of it is real. You got something that really And they're dancing at the in the driveway. Get closer. Get, get closer. <laughs> get closer. <laughs> Okay, see you Hold now. each other deeply. Okay, yeah. Feel that. Oh, yeah. But this night of wonderment helped. Kiss your neck. <laughs> First step you take. Uh -huh. Keep your eyes on me. <laughs> I'm I'm her. I'm terrified. Me too. Yes. Man, and I'm like, this oh, giant guy says, "Keep your eyes on me." I would love to maybe go out with you sometime alone and. Okay, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's not really happening. He's gonna be in the car, he's gonna start honking like in five minutes, okay. I swear to God. It's really fun. Uh... Thanks. Yeah. Run back, run back and kiss her, run back and kiss her. <laughs> okay. I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, all right. I'm out, I did. can't keep running back, she's gonna think I'm crazy. I know what you're wondering. Did Jamie and I go out on another date? Well, what if I were to tell you that Jamie and I have been dating steadily since, and that we are engaged to be married? What if I were to also tell you that there's a family of unicorns living under my carpet? All right, we're talking about nurturing plants. He's just not that funny. No, it just doesn't come off well. But speaking of hanging him over the side, uh -huh. there's Lou Ferrigno. This is not going to go better than it would have gone with Gary Busey. Lou Ferrigno. This is Lou Ferrigno, my brother. He is muscle upon muscle. Yeah. Talking about nurturing nature. Yeah, making plants. Yeah. Like, like when you see him in regular clothes, it just looks weird. Right. Because he's not regular in any way. No, I do. Look, I'm connecting. All right. Come out here. So this is all about protection? No, 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 no. What are you guys doing? That's, that's pretty high. Oh. It's a high. Oh my God. Do you see safety people around, or do you see Lou Ferrigno and fucking right. Gary Busey? Okay. <laughs> This is not cool. Let go. Let go. Let go? <laughs> Never hit. And Lou says, yeah, okay. No. Well, you know what? I'm crazy. Okay. 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 We went from plants to over the ledge. That's, that's crazy. He's getting it. He's getting it. Hey! All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready for that? Yeah, 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 let's go. That's great. Okay. All right. Can we be ready over there, away from the ledge now? Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, after being uh, dangled off the balcony by uh, Lou Frick, yeah, that's it's exactly. Yeah, I I saw this coming. Like they're definitely gonna dangle him over the ledge. Confronting everyone. You need to protect yourself against enemies. Because <clears throat> that's the only thing that's entertaining about him is seeing him in danger. Yeah. Gary Busey putting him in danger. Hey, we don't need water. That's kind of funny. Yeah. You're gonna dehydrate and die. <laughs> but I can't laugh at no, you. No, wait a minute. Hey, when you can laugh at yourself, no fear. Nine Get a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see the master of home security. His name is Sam Storm. See, that's when it's okay, funny, when Gary Busey is uh, endangering this guy's life. A blindfold on? Shut up. I don't need a blindfold. Security. Pay attention, Adam. I will. I am too. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the next stage. If you really get scared, I'll show you where you could hide. Oh, that's great. I love hiding. That's my forte, hide. Protection, security. They went to this guy's house that has security system. Okay, how not to Self-protection. Now, see this light bulb up here? That's a camera. All right. See this thing right here? That's a camera. Wow. Are you paranoid? Do you live in paranoia? No. You know what? I'm I bet you're the kind of guy mm -hmm. that can get a camera and a bar of soap where you can watch somebody really close mm -hmm. when they wash themselves. <laughs> Wouldn't be neat? Well, what are we thinking yeah, about that? Neat. Who is he? Why are you there? Just right. Listen. Sit down. I repeat, do not pick me up. Just put me back down. Okay. The devices themselves tell you to put you back down. Why did it say, down. put me back put down or I'll rip your intestines out? Okay. <laughs> A true invader can smile at you with her eyes and stab you in the back. Got it. You must be aware. And we're going to do some things in here to show you. All right. Okay. Spread your legs. Karate. This will go well. Grandmother's hand. What does that mean? That's like code. What is that? That means you're having a... Oh, yeah. He's a black belt? 
She's right behind you. Why is my grandmother behind me? Because she's waiting on the apple. Okay. She's gonna mimic me. Okay. Wait. Wait. Got it. It wouldn't surprise me at this point. Hey. I'd just be like, oh yeah, Gary Busey's a black belt. Those are semi decent kicks. They don't look completely out of form. I mean, like, right. I'll do this one. Like, I'll go like, yeah, I don't want to fight you. But they put a white belt on the kid. That's, that's my ammo. Is that the starting one, you think? Yes. Right. I'm not going to you you so buy I'm not just going to hand him one and be like, yeah, orange, whatever. It's just for TV. They'll be like, no, you can't have the one that's not right. <laughs> See, that's how most people look when they punch. And then, okay, that wasn't a good kick, but the first few were. Right. What was all that? Well, I'm sure he's out of practice. Like maybe he was a black belt in 88 or something. Sure. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, throw him on the floor. Yeah, this is, this <laughs> this is, is the show. This is the good stuff. <laughs> oh. That's a real elbow. <laughs> That's not, but the, the elbow was real. That looked good. Okay, really low. You move in here. He follows through. <laughs> It's like this. This is a lethal weapon. There's the metal lethal weapon. Like lethal weapon. That's right. What do you really want in that fight? Boom, boom. Well, I got shot. <laughs> right, you got shot. But that was in the script. In the was script. Have we done it for real? Yeah. Mel would still be in the hospital. <laughs> what? In terms of martial arts. Oh, in terms of martial arts. Yeah, okay. you have a gun there. Okay, you got it down there. Yeah, we don't know each other. Okay, we don't know each other. But we know about each other. We know about each other. See, this should be the whole episode. Like all of this kind of you physical. Because it should always be threats of violence no. against the kid. Yeah. Like you're always ready for him to get. Right. Or, yeah. Yeah. We could bring this show back like that. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> it did get funnier. All right. Come on up. All right. You know, Gary, what's happening? Pretty good. Good. Well, what do you uh, What do you got in your pants there? It is. <laughs> Disarm me. Huh? Oh, I get it. You got it. Yeah. No defense against a gun or. Right. You gotta live. <laughs> That's the show. Right. Stuff happens, right? Give effect. us some tips here. Give Adam some tips. The first thing you want to do when you walk into the bar is kind of side the whole situation all at once. Oh, Be a right. giant man that is like 280 pounds. Right. Yeah, that's the first thing I want to do. Yeah, Busey's tall and he's being dwarfed by that guy. <laughs> Remember this, you cannot compete with the energy of the neighborhood. You're in a neighborhood now that's a bar. Okay. It's not your neighborhood, but don't compete with that energy because you'll find yourself in your case, running head. backwards like a crawdad. <laughs> Come here, on, stop. Car the crawdads run backwards? They don't. Hot pocket, sir. Here we go. <laughs> he's he's out of breath already. Right. He walked. <laughs> he's gone. And then he threw a bar stool. Come on. Ah! That worked. Why don't you try out. it on me real quick? Yeah, right. try it on Dave. All right. It's like that. Like that. Yeah, real okay. hard. Okay. Pop me. Well, no hard yeah, don't do that. They've disproven this for amateurs and YouTube people. Don't ever do that with someone with a the gun. They'll shoot you way before you move. Yeah, they'll just shoot you. Mentally, me. Or they won't drop it. No. And then they'll shoot you again. Gary Busey's ready to die at any moment. Look at his eyes. Yeah, right. So just remember who's giving you the advice. <laughs> World of protection okay. and getting away from fear. Okay. You village idiot. Okay. <laughs> I can raise you Look at his eyes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Below the waist, you have a sad zone. <laughs> Is it ever advisable to throw something? He's got those kind of Rorschach eyes, like yeah. the guy from Watchmen, yeah. to where like, even if he was a small man, you'd see those eyes and be like, I, I don't want any part of this. I feel like he's gonna try to bite any part of me that he right. gets a hold of and I'm rip not it apart. locked in here with you, you're locked in here with me. Don't throw it. Then don't throw the rock at the I nut. won't throw the rock at the nut. All right, I'm ready to learn. Yeah, it sounds good. So are you gonna be driving and showing us how no, to do actually, it? Actually, I'm gonna let Gary take you out. You know how to do this? Yeah. How, from the movies? Yeah. What movie? Yeah. It's not a convincing what yeah. Movie, what movie did you drive? Well, and Lethal Weapon. <laughs> He's quoting <laughs> Lethal Weapon a lot for, right. really for a 30 year old or whatever movie. Yeah, let's get it. What are doing? That he was a part of. All right, some defensive driving. I'm gonna get up to 30. Okay. Not a great car. But there's a reason they're not giving him a great car. Whoa! That's a nice J turn. Rockford. He's going for it. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay, we can stop now anytime you want. We can stop. Hey! No, we're not stopping. Oh. Well, we got it. We missed it. You missed it. So there are different driving moves and defensive driving things that you're supposed to do when you're if you're in a car and there's an attack. 
like it, uh, you know, you're in some part of the world where attacks are just something that happens. And they can teach you that, but it doesn't look like that's what's being taught. It just looks like Gary Busey is driving the car in the craziest way he can think of. What, what it's all about. What's going on? What are we doing now? Okay, so you're trying to... Oh, here, okay, so here you go. Right. Right. Defensive. Like driving around, you don't know what's behind you. Don't okay, know what's you don't know what's going on. on. Okay, and then what? This looks fun. It looks amazing. I would totally do it. Oh, T-boned or whatever. It's called a... Yeah. Why can't I think of the name of That's it? That's a real helicopter. So Gary's method. Oh, they're shooting thing. him with paintballs. Car and park and letting the guy in the copter shoot out the windows. They're shooting you. That, that's really cool, actually. I mean, you're dead. You're completely dead. Right. I'm dead. No, you're not dead. I'm protecting you. This is really great. You really protected me. <laughs> hey! Yeah. Don't stand that close to Chopper with Gary Busey. Yeah, and have him jump up with his arms straight up in the air. <laughs> Fly, Gary. Gary, I don't fly. Adam, this isn't a fear episode. Adam, this is, come on. no, I never fly. You come fly. On, you show me. Adam, fly. pick him up and yeah, drag Adam, him into get it. Over here. He ran away. Adam, I'll be back with you later. Well, were they I, gonna let Gary fly it? I wouldn't. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what did I learn about protection? Uh, with Gary, 500 feet in a copter, I feel protected and safe. All right, so uh, the last ones are actually a bit better. Oh, are they? And the final episode is actually, I'm gonna spoil it for you, is called I'm With Dick. Right. Andy Dick somehow finds his way into this show and takes over the final episode. Okay. So maybe we just jump to the third one, but uh, anyway, this is kind of the compilations. We're moving along. We wanted to finish episodes because there were some, you know, some people are like, why don't you finish these shows? Sometimes they hit a brick wall. And uh, even with editing, it's still hard to, to kind of navigate. Yeah, and you also have to remember, we're not doing this to be international superstars, even though we are international superstars. We're just doing this to have fun. So if it's not fun for us, it's not gonna be fun for you either. Um, so let's uh, check out the end of the stuff with Busey. Yeah, I know how to entertain people. Pew, pew. Uh